I like it when... Oh, we are back. Oh, are we oh. back? <laughs> ah! We're all right. How do you, lighting, how do you like it? What? Yeah. I was just, when you look at the lights and then you look down, it's all gridded, right? Uh, the light burns into your I eyes. I try not to look to directly it. into the light. But ever. like then you look yeah, around and there's true. still remnants of like the light that was burned into your well, eyes. Well, according to WebMD, I have a sty and that's light sensitivity, oh. so I can't really look at it. I was watching and I was going to say, I think you have like a calcium buildup or something. What do you think? Are you adapting to know? I think you should go to a doctor that can give you a good answer. Does I that look bad? You. It doesn't look bad. Oh, guys, it's well, a little bump, guys. Listen, here's, here's like well, a, here's, here she just said diet. something that I want everybody to like pay attention to. She went to WebMD. Yeah. That is not a valid site That's to like figure out or get a prognosis on homework. what's wrong with you. Go to a doctor, y'all. Exactly. <laughs> you get too far down that go. rabbit hole, then you literally have everything. She, she, but... It's like you have leukemia now. It's, it's like what you're no, gonna. That's seriously. what this is an indicator of. Ah. Don't tell me about this because I have a Not true. So, for all it's you guys true. just joining us, though, welcome back to After the Bell with Taylor. I infected Kath Kathy. Kathy. <laughs> What? I infected because that's all we're talking about. Cassie over well, here. Well, Homer over here has pink eye every two weeks. No, so that's I don't know. Yeah, I, just... I haven't. I, it was a contact issue. Now I have <laughs> Sorry. No this is disgusting. She gets what color your this hat is. is. Like, is... what about it? It's pink. You don't like easy demons, no, by the way. No, she gets pink eyes. So I've, I've, I've had an issue with it, but I have not gotten it since I removed the contact. So we're done with pink eye. Okay. That's disgusting. That's We're disgusting over here. We've got some issues. <laughs> Our eye is not on the prize, which is Noah Sedano. No, 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 no. I'm all about this. I How hate pink eye. I get strep throat, pink eye. <laughs> okay, I, I have so chronic bronchitis. We right? can talk about illness all is this day. your it's favorite terrible. interview so far yes. that's <laughs> that hasn't started? But but this is the best. only interview that I've ever done in my entire life, only here and now. That's all this is. Wow. So this well, is incredible. Look at that. Guys, we thank we you talk about we built Have you ever had bronchitis? Chicken pox? Let's talk about it all. I did. I had chicken pox when I was one. I'm oh, serious. We could talk no. about anything you guys want to talk about. Oh, wow. About. <laughs> you opened it up then. Well, yeah. Well, let's start with SPF 18. How about that? Word. That's All right. Sounds we just very saw good. the trailer. It looks really good. It takes place in LA. It does. And tell, tell us what it's like. It's coming out soon. What was it like shooting? You guys shot all around LA, right? Tell us everything. everything. Right, ready? Okay. There you go. So the world, we were on a tiny little speck in a massive. Ev no. Okay. <laughs> like, you said everything. That's a huge <laughs> concept. That's a lot of it. No. Um, SPF 18 is dope. I booked and worked on SPF 18 three years ago. Wow. Um, funny enough, for those who like know me, follow my career, I. Uh, booked Fosters but never worked on Fosters before that. So mm. I worked SPF 18 before I even shot Fosters. Oh, wow. um, so, so it, you know, it's definitely a film that resembles a different part of my life. You know, three years ago, I was struggling as an actor, working really hard, trying to get mm. consistent work. Um, and SPF was, was a breath of fresh air because I got to drive to Malibu every day mm. for a month. And because it films all over LA. Right. But, Major the majority Malibu. of it, I think, was Malibu. Yeah, we shot at the Viper Room in Hollywood once, and that was the only time that I wasn't in Malibu. And you um, play a surfer, so that actually right. works out perfectly. Oh, it was, right? it was incredible, and there's something about being near the ocean and the sand, and just being, you know, near the ocean is like it feels cleansing, and it, it, there's magic on that set that. That when I think back to it creates a vibe. It's like, you know, you smell something, you're back to, you know, right. four year old in the kitchen. Like it's the yeah, same. Yeah. I go back there and and with my thoughts and my memories and I just feel really good. You mentioned experience. like just starting out in your career, doing that, um, kind of dipping your toes in the water, no pun intended, <laughs> obviously in Malibu. But you got to work alongside some greats like Pamela Anderson, Keanu, Keanu Reeves, Reeves, Molly Ringwald. Oh Tell us God. a little bit about that experience and what you learned from them. Yeah, I mean, they were mainly cameos, so I didn't get to spend a lot of time. Um, I think I spent the most time with, with Pamela Anderson. Uh, which it's like was, every was, boy's was, dream. It was right? really. She's she's a really nice woman, man. And she's <laughs> she's doing she's doing such great things with the influence that's been given to her and that opportunity. And I, I really respect her for that. Um, Keanu Reeves. I grew up watching uh, The Matrix, yeah. and and um, that movie was the first, like was the push of the first domino that set into 
um, affect the rest of my life as you know creating and developing as the human being that I am today mm -hmm. so being able to be with him was so huge to me and I thought that I was so appreciative um, and he was so kind mm -hmm. he was so there he was mm -hmm. so present and he was so um, helpful he was just loving like he he, he was the Everything and more that I could have ever, I don't like expectations, but like, you know, you, you hope right. when right. you meet someone right. that you look they, up to that, that they're they not, yeah. that they're, that they're not cold shouldery and that yeah. they're, they're going right. to smile and like take you as a serious person and make you feel important. He did exactly that just by really, um, just like, oh, being that. Did you have, yeah. did you, were you able to take advantage of that time with him? and ask him anything about acting, no? No, no, no they Is that like, okay, so what's like the rule of thumb when you're yeah, acting not. with someone like mm -hmm. that, you know, do you ask questions? Do you, you know, There's no rule of thumb, like, there's no specific way to do it. My way to do it, what I did when I was on set working with him was I never, I never asked him anything, but when he was shooting his work, I was Watch. watching, okay. mm -hmm. you know, and I think, I think you can either like read about something in a book mm -hmm. or you can go and experience it and mm -hmm. really learn that way. Um, and I guess that kind of transcends acting. It goes to, you know, anything. Right. If you're trying to learn something, observe, be aware, be there, you know, and, and really take in all you can. See if it works for you. He did this thing. He would do this thing right before he would, they would, he, they'd say, uh, right before they'd say action, he would, he would just, really? bam. And when it felt like when he did that, he switched Syndicate. into, bam, Why locked into there? like his mode. And I took that and I still use you it use sometimes. It. Hey. Um, and he, I, I never was like, hey man, thank you for teaching me this. Like right. you just observe right. and you take in and you're like, oh man, that'll work. And then I tried it and it was great. That okay. is so you know? intriguing. Really cool. I'm so sure I did someday learn that. some like younger actor will be watching you do that and maybe just do this like Please ripple think effect you're we see. Twitching or it's yeah, well, yeah. yeah. <laughs> it's like it's like a shake. It's like get yeah. yourself yeah. here. Right. You were there and leave now that and be here. It's cool. I'm sure. Yeah. yeah. Well, I want to say because you said expectations earlier. You used the word and the show is really about these kids that grow up in LA and just kind of growing up in LA and how that can kind of get tangled with this perception and everything that everyone has of LA, like uh -huh. in the movies. Mm -hmm. Do you think there's truth to that? Like everyone yeah. sees LA as this like glamorous place to be and what on it's all beaches, it's all surfing. You it's all get all... famous. Exactly. Do you think there's truth to that? I think I think LA is um, an opportunity. It is a place full of opportunity mm -hmm. to if you want to become an actor or an actress or a singer or a producer or a songwriter, I think LA is one of the meccas, but you also have Atlanta, which is huge right now. And you have New York. Um, although Atlanta seems to be like popping right now. Yeah. <laughs> but the beautiful thing more so is LA is, is a really beautiful place. It's by the ocean, there's magic here. But you don't need to be in LA to make it. You don't need to be in LA to make music. You don't need to be in LA to write. You don't need to be in LA to do absolutely anything. Right. You can be at your house, you can right. be at a park. That is the beauty of social media. That is the positive side yeah. of social media yeah, is you can, like I was just talking to Kenzie, who Kenzie works here guys. Yeah, she does all Kenzie. of our social media. Kenzie's guys. incredible. I've known Kenzie since I was like 16 years old. So she has it's... the same color hair as your hat. <laughs> right, right, <laughs> right. Guys, Except it looks way better on her, I think. <laughs> um, but, but, um, what was I saying? You said Magic you've known her forever. Of being able to, you know, do it. Anyway. We were talking about how A and R still exists in the music mm -hmm. world, but like, you can find an artist on YouTube. You right. can find an artist on SoundCloud. You can find artists in places Justin that Bieber. weren't available to us right. before. So if I say, if y'all are trying to make it, like, you don't have to move to LA. It, it's there's nothing wrong with moving to LA, but you should do what you do. You should. Keep yourself in a place, in your environment and inside that allows you to be creative and authentic in what you want to create. And whatever that means to you, go do that. Whether that's meditating under a tree in a park <laughs> or whether that's taking the subway or whatever that, right. or moving to LA. You know, I moved to LA and it worked out. I got very, very lucky. Um, Where'd you move out from? Florida. Okay. Yeah. Wow, so really far. Yeah, yeah, but you know, I, it, you're not gonna just move to LA and be successful. I was acting when I was eight years old, so I'm 21 now, so that's 13 years. Yeah. You know, it, it, it's not something that can just happen. And I think, right. I think a lot of people expect, you know, I'll move to LA, you know, I'll get an agent, 
um, I'll go on auditions and then I'll, I'll be on shows. And yeah, that, that is the process, right. but 80%, I don't even know if this is an accurate statistic, it just feels like 80% of the people that live in LA can't get good representation. Right. right. Which means that they can't even go on auditions, which means they can't even book a right. job. So they're then self-submitting on websites to try to get in front of people. And if you have a rep, good, you're ahead of 80% mm -hmm. of the right. people or like most of the people. And then on top of that, if you're not putting your craft first, if you're not fully dedicating yourself to what it is that you want, if you're not in every moment envisioning mm -hmm. with your thought, your word and your action, what you want, you're not creating anything. Right. So it takes so much laser focus on your intention um, to actually manifest what you want. Right, because I think what people don't see is that LA isn't all that glamorous. Like there's, if anyone saw La La Land, the movie, it really does showcase how many auditions you just have to go how on to actually knows? finally oh get Oh my you. God, and yeah. And honestly, how many times you have to say that line over, I'm sure, in a script or whatnot sure. to get that one that you guys all see out there. On the the amount movie, of times so. that I practice screaming at a wall <laughs> in a room with no one else. Like if you were to watch actors in an audition room go over like their lines, you're looking at schizophrenics. <laughs> You're looking at people it's that are delusional. Like, oh but God. if you love brain, that, really. yeah. if you love the process, if you mm -hmm. love the grind, if you love the failure, mm -hmm. I say life without failure is a blank canvas. Right. You need to fail. That's how you learn. Right. That's how you figure out, oh man, all right, I'm not gonna do that again. <laughs> and I never would have known that I shouldn't do that unless right. I did it and learned that I shouldn't do it. That's I can't I, believe you're 21. I you know, I'm like, me just, it's so incredible. Much <laughs> so where, where do you envision yourself within like the next five years? Or five like years. How you want your career to progress? You know, I, I've heard I've heard that question and I, I think there's, John Bellion has love a- Love him! John Bellion's we incredible. And him. his answer to that is like, I don't know what I'm, like, I forget the exact line, but it's something along the lines of like, I have no idea what shoes I'm gonna wear tomorrow. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Why would I know what I'm doing in five years? Right. Um, and I, I, I agree with that, but if, you know, you're asking me well, and my who answer. has such a vision of what he wants to do, you have the hard work, you have the tools, mm -hmm. you clearly have your head on straight, you are very successful at what you do. Thank you. We have no doubt in five years that you will be somewhere, but where is it that you personally want to be? I want to be doing things outside of just acting that, because I think what's, what's really important to me is taking the opportunity that's been given to me and allowing other people to have that opportunity and, mm -hmm. and more. So paying it forward. So essentially. paying yeah. it forward. Yeah. And, and I think acting is, is amazing. I love acting and it's, it's provided me such a, a, a beautiful life thus far. Mm -hmm. But I have other outlets that I'd like to see myself really dedicate to. Um, I'm working with an organization right now. If y'all are listening to this, check it out. Pencils That's of Promise. Promise. They're incredible. The $35,000 will build a school in a developing country. Wow. Um, they check up on it quarterly. They, they work with the government to establish a proper curriculum in that particular country. Um, and and 35K is a lot of money. That's a lot of money. But yeah. when you're looking at people that have millions of followers, mm -hmm. it's not that much. That's true. You can, if you're really like pulling and like doing, uh, really dedicating yourself and your time to that, you can raise money. So if y'all watching this and feel inspired, check out Pencils of Promise. If you donate on their website, 100% of your donation goes to building a school. I think that's incredible. That's incredible. Me and my friends are gonna be working on some other campaigns, other bigger things in the future. So, so you know, wait for that. Mm -hmm. um, but outside of like, the, and that's one of the things that I see myself doing on an even grander scale in five years. Um, I kind of look at myself, I'm like, yo, it took you this long to start working yeah. with organizations like that? Like, dude, like, and I want to help funnel money to places where it needs to be, That's you right. know. Um, I want to draw, like Jim Carrey. <laughs> that dude is so inspiring to me. People think he's crazy. It's like, listen. I'm curious. Yeah, what did you, okay, so what did you he's think? He's not crazy. Of, what did you he's, think of his, his interview with uh, E! News' Cat Sadler? I thought it was really, f at New York That's Fashion, on Week. Fashion Week. When yeah. It, yeah. I, thought, I thought that it was, it was funny. Like, I thought he was making a joke mm -hmm. out of, I respect fashion so much. I have friends that are stylists and designers. In fact, I would love to, to work with them and, and maybe even do my own stuff in fashion, but it would always have something to do with philanthropy. It would have a philanthropic right. backing. That being said, fashion, I'm gonna get so much heat for this, for saying this, uh -oh, but. What is it gonna be? 
fashion is just cloth on yeah. body. It's so much more than that to a lot of people and I respect that. But at the end of the day, and what, what fashion can do to help people, that's mm -hmm. incredible because we put so much value on it. But at the end of the day, we're putting fabric yeah. on our bodies and deifying people for that. We deify people for reasons that, like what? Like, like you deify someone because they, they're really good at taking selfies. You deify someone because they're really good at mouthing words. I love Musical.ly and mm -hmm. there's something so beautiful about that because it's expression and it's like, right. damn, like you're doing your thing. I feel and like- And it's harder than you actually I think. Bet. I like, bet. It is actually kind of hard to do. I bet. But we deify, right. we, 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 for those who don't know what deify means, that's like we, cr we look at people as if they are gods and they're so far above us and they're not mm -hmm. like us and that we're inferior to them because, of, because they do things mm -hmm. that don't really matter. Right. And I think Jim Carrey, when he was like, I tried to find the thing that, um, I, I, can't, I can't quote him, he is the most useless thing ever. Oh, right. And show yeah, up. He says that, yeah. You know? Right. That, I think that's what he meant. Mm -hmm. I yeah. think. That's my interpretation of it. And I think he was speaking from, he, he's definitely talking about Eastern philosophy. He's talking about metaphysical, um, meditative topics. He's, he's talking about It was things. way over my it's head. It's spirituality. Yeah, honest, Essentially, it if you dive deep enough into meditation and spirituality, you'll come up to a place that Jim Carrey's speaking from. Yeah. I, I think. Um, and and he's speaking from a point of awareness when he says Jim Carrey doesn't exist. That's right. He's right. he's he's letting go of the persona right. of caring what I wear and how I talk and how people like me and how I like myself. He's taking all that away and saying, I am a animal. I am a being mm -hmm. on a planet mm -hmm. that is aware that he's a being on a planet. Yeah. And he's identifying with the awareness, right. being aware. That's he's true. not identifying exactly. with what he looks like. Humanize right. him more than anything. He's like, I'm you. I'm, I could be anyone. It doesn't matter. Like, exactly. And people think he's crazy adult. because they don't understand or because they aren't educated on this topic. When right. meanwhile, he's the one who's like so much more advanced than all. Of he's that. saying he's, like, he's saying Jesus. basic level fundamental truth mm -hmm. that we've just built our own opinions on because of culture. Culture says you gotta look this way. Culture says you gotta smell this way. Culture says you gotta you gotta you gotta work a nine to five. Culture that's why my generation doesn't. Yeah. They, people don't like us yeah. because we're like I don't want to work a nine to five. That doesn't make sense. Neither. Why would I work a nine to five? <laughs> like I can do other things, make money, and be happy. Uh, like, not a desk job. No, you right. know? We always we want to do stuff out of the box. Right. Which is what you try yeah. to do, you know, exactly. as creatives, and that's why we're in LA because LA is yeah. a mecca for creatives, and that's the golden right. part of LA. That's true. So the Fosters. Right. <laughs> <laughs> I can talk about uh, it all day. I know. No, I, I can love it because I'm diving too. into you the world of spirituality yeah. actually right now and right. like reading more. The, Read some the book, Osho. The Secret is the like secret. insane. And, you know, a book really that I would say to you, and this is the last thing we can talk about uh, <laughs> before. The Secret's fantastic, but it's very surface level. I would, I would think, I think it's a great way to introduce someone and be like, oh my God. Like, yeah, honey, we're at the here. introduction level. <laughs> the next book is uh, Ask and It Is Given. Okay. Ask and It Is Given. Ask and It Is Given. Yeah. Forget the author, asking him is good. Is that about like putting stuff into the universe, like speaking it into existence? That's what the title sounds like. Yeah, yeah, manifesting like your intentions into yeah, reality. Yeah. I'm I, trying to get her on the train and, and, <laughs> and you know, all well, that. Check, check it this way. In the shortest brief sentence yeah. that I could describe this book to you, uh, everything that you want in life, mm -hmm. let's let's say if I want a million dollars, not something you should want. You should want like to be like totally happy. Yeah. But <laughs> if you want a million dollars, make me totally happy. If you if you want <laughs> these yeah. kids, so they get it like a. If a you want to, if you want to be, so, yeah. let's just say yeah. if you want to be happy with your life, mm -hmm. let's let's take that as a radio frequency. You want one hundred two point seven FM. Okay. Now, if you're not happy, if you if you're tuning in to ninety eight point eight, you're not going to get one hundred two point seven right. FM right. because you're not tuning in okay. to it. You're you're yeah. on a completely different right. frequency. Right. Okay. So align yourself you, yeah. with the frequency you gotta change it. of what you want. Learn how to ask the universe, yep. not just ask, but command the universe. But also like you have, it's all with your thoughts too. You have to completely change yep. the way you think. And that was my, that was my biggest struggle. And I'm still struggling with it. But ever since I 
spoke to the universe what I wanted, mm -hmm. it's I'm slowly getting it, slowly. and I'm realizing it's only because I had to change a lot of things to get it. Agreed. But it's crazy what can happen. That's when, that's why I said, you know, with my yeah. thought, my word, and my action. I was actually just speaking to the universe the whole time that you would change, and then that started happening. <laughs> oh, <laughs> it was all my doing, see? Hey. That's harsh. Hey. Than you think. Hey. I'm totally oh, kidding. Yes, you're like totally really kidding, you guys. Oh, yeah. I like her as she is. Hey. But yes, yeah. the foster is another thing we like as it is. <laughs> <laughs> Currently airing season five, yes. right? Uh, they yeah. just finished uh, airing the finale. I think. Oh, that was the finale. With the, it said episode nine aired on the twenty second of September. No, that that would have been tomorrow. Still, maybe it's coming. I thought that I thought the <laughs> final episode. Is <laughs> the final episode of season five is, or the, the final episode of the first half of season five is. Got it. Okay, got, got it. it. Okay. We're okay. shooting five B now. Okay. Got it. Finishing okay. episode one this week and going to episode two on tomorrow. Oh, nice. Oh, wow. yeah. Okay. So, so what? Yeah. yeah. Um, We're gonna ask you the uh, what can we expect on the rest of the I first beat. part of it. Nothing. Don't even worry Nothing. about it. Don't worry. Lot, a lot, a lot of beautiful things. Um, I think it's incredible that we were so on top of this whole DACA um, scenario. Mm -hmm. We're not gonna have to talk about it, but I just I, that is. If I could have asked to be on any show, this is the show that I want to be on because we are so on the pulse. Our writers are so on the yeah. pulse, and our EPs are so on the pulse of social injustice that are occurring now in America and around the world. And the fact that I get to be um, in a vehicle, mm -hmm. you know, for spreading awareness right. to this, these causes and these injustices and this negligence, I just, I couldn't be happier. You know, like that's such a beautiful thing to me. So. So to expect, just tune in, y'all. You're gonna love it. Fosters is what it is, and it is, it's not going anywhere. This is the, the show, and it gets more dramatic and, and heavier, but then also just as uplifting, and you'll relate to it as much as you have all the other seasons, I promise you. I'm not giving you anything else because you guys <laughs> know specifics. <yet. laughs> when I, like that you did say that, that you like being in this role, you know, because you do feel as though you are a voice. Um, mm -hmm. I'm wondering though, if you agree with the part or you don't agree with the part, does it make it easier or harder to play that part? Because I'm sure there's people on both sides of the coin of what's going on, my, right? Well, my character doesn't really have anything to do with that story. Okay, so for you, it's just being a part of the overall, I guess, Yeah, well, and, it, and it's not, it doesn't just have to do with DACA. It's, it's you know, the police brutality that we right. dove into. It's the foster care system. So, you know, I think, and regardless of what side they're, they're, they're speaking on or covering or, or making the story go, it's not even so much about saying this is what's right. It's about mm -hmm. saying this is something that's happening. happening. Do your research, okay. educate yourself, and decide what you believe. Right. You know, because I think we all just need to be a little more educated on what's happening in the world. Well, it's nice to see it through a show too, because sometimes it's a little mm -hmm. hard to watch it on the news. I'll be honest. So it's nice. To oh, see fear tactics. I agree I'm, with you. I'm literally <laughs> sitting here smiling because we started this interview talking about pink, pink guy. guy. <laughs> we moved on to the universe and manifestation. We've talked about <laughs> DACA and police brutality. Yeah. This is like a gentle it is interview. I think. Time to over. wrap things up here on After the Bell. That's Where so can kind I of you to say. Where <laughs> can I, no, it's honest to God, one of my favorite interviews you know, that we've so done here easy. on the show. You. I'm Thank so you. glad you came and stopped here um, to hang out with us. I, I, back to the universe thing. I think everyone comes into your life for a reason. I think mm -hmm. this this was a great interview. A lot of agree. messages. I'm excited about the book that I'm going to read now. There you go. Have an amazing. Oh, Esther. Esther. E S T H E R is the first name of the woman. So okay. that's okay. the author of the book. Um, thank you guys for having oh my me. Gosh, Have fun on your trip to Italy. Thank you. And before we leave, I would just like to plug. Yes. Plug <laughs> SPF 18 comes out on yes. iTunes. If you have Apple TV or iTunes, go yeah. check it out. September 29th. It's next Friday. It's not tomorrow. It's eight days from today, seven days after tomorrow, which is next Friday, <laughs> September 29th. SPF 18. Pa <laughs> Pamela Anderson. Keanu Reeves, Molly's in it, everybody's in it. Alex Israel directed it, it's his first like film coming out. He's an incredible artist, check out his art if you haven't. SBF 18 on iTunes, next Friday, September 29th. Go look at it. And where can everyone follow you at? Uh, on Instagram, you can follow me at ncentineo, N-C-E-N-T-I-N-E-O, N-C-E-N-T-I-N-E-O. I was just gonna say, we Instagram story, and you guys, if you're following Sweetie Hi, make sure you head over to our Instagram page, and it's on our story. I'm looking at our social links, right? Yep. Okay, Word. good. And we'll have tagged him in it, and you guys can all go follow him. Next. And on Twitter, and you can catch me at Noah Sent, N-O-A-H-C-E-N-T.
On the Twitter. On the Twitter. And thanks as a promise, y'all. If, yeah. you feel, if you feel inspired to, to you know, donate a dollar, two dollars, fifty cents, whatever, go to POP, pencilsofpromise.com or dot org. I forget what I think it's dot com. And I should know this. And donate 100% of anything that you give will be uh, completely funneled to building a school. Well, that's awesome. We'll be donating for sure. We can even tag that one in our next Instagram mm -hmm. story. Yes. Why not? Read more books. I love him. Seriously, kids, read, read, read more books. Read more books. And read. And you don't have to pencils. stay in school. You don't have to stay in school, but read books. Well, yeah. <laughs> and that's where the. Yeah, some kids need to stay in school. Graduate high school. Books, that, like, graduate yeah. high school. That's important. There you go. And Thank then you. do whatever you want. It's not that, it's not that important, but if you are going to stay in school, graduate They're high like 12, school. They're like 12, so they got to stay. You guys got yeah, to yeah, stay. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You only leave to watch the show. Okay? Man, be, so yeah, be happy. <laughs> Follow your heart. <laughs> oh, my God. All right, you guys. We'll see you tomorrow at After 12, 3 p.m. Pacific Standard Time. Bye. Bye.